I gotta be honest, it feels so nice to see you not in a car, yes, not reviewing somebody's food. I got it, let's try it, and ready one to 10. Enjoying a date night. Tell me about being here at the BET Awards. Uh, it's amazing, I'm blessed to be here. We look amazing, my wife looks amazing, God is amazing. I'm just here, I'm thankful. Uh, we just, we everywhere we're supposed to be at all times. Of course. Yeah. I mean, if someone had told you before you started this whole TikTok journey, you're going to be a household name, you're going to have millions of followers, you're going to be at the BET Awards, what would you have said? Uh, I wouldn't believe it in that facet, but I always knew that I would be somebody. I always knew that God destined something for me special. I just never knew what path it was going to take me, and I'm, I'm here for every path that he puts me on. Now, is food going to remain the passion? Is that what you're focused on, or are you trying to take this platform and leverage it into something else? Uh, wherever I'm supposed to be. Fashion is one of my main goals. I really want to get into fashion, as you can see tonight. Uh, we got that on. So uh, fashion, food, sports, yeah. my wife, my family, wherever we're supposed to be at. As always, that's also uh, for you to decide, because everybody's taste buds is different. God bless you. Have an amazing day. I'll be safe. What has this whole TikTok journey, explosive journey, meant to you? Um, everything. I feel like we're where we're supposed to be, um, and we're just grateful. Yeah. Yeah. You know, celebrities are knocking on your door. I know everyone wants to be your friend. Everyone wants you to review their food. Who is the one star celebrity that you would most like to link up with? Maybe go grab some food together? Uh, my wife. Yeah, as long as me and my wife can go sit in the car, eat some food, I'm more than happy. Uh, I don't really do celebrity hangouts, none of that. Um, Anybody that I hang out, anybody you see me with is a friend of mine, is somebody that I truly connected with. Um, I'm just a normal person, and I feel like everybody else are normal people, and that's how I go off of. I love that. You gotta respect a man with an answer like yes, this. Exactly. Of course. <laughs> I feel like you have changed so many lives with putting restaurants and small businesses on the map. What is the story that has made you most emotional over the past couple of years? Uh, it was a place named Dynamite Korean Barbecue in Las Vegas. Uh, the owner had throat cancer right after he found out that he was going to get the restaurant of his dreams. He was diagnosed with throat cancer or tongue cancer. Um, unfortunately, he passed away. Rest in peace. We went and we did a memorial piece for him. And it was over 2,000 people on less than 24 hours notice to tribute and to show their support for the restaurant. That's what it's all about, right? Absolutely. But absolutely free, too. Absolutely free to them. And maybe some food line from you? Would you ever like want to come out with your own? What, what does that look like? Uh, I can see food. I can see fashion. I can see shoes. Uh, I can see wherever I'm supposed to be at. Yeah. I can see whatever's supposed to happen.